Hi everyone, Anthony Morricanti here. Most of you probably know that there are two main versions of Lightroom. There's the original version of Lightroom, which for a number of years has been called Lightroom Classic. And there's another version of Lightroom that is actually just called Lightroom, although many of us refer to this as the cloud version of Lightroom, because with this version, it's relatively easy to sync and back up your images to the cloud. There are other versions of Lightroom. There are mobile versions of Lightroom for your iPhone, iPad, and or Android device, and there is a web version of Lightroom. In today's video, though, I want to talk mainly about Lightroom Classic and the so-called cloud version of Lightroom, because I see a lot of people switching from Lightroom Classic to the cloud version of Lightroom, and I've been receiving a lot of questions from photographers asking me if they should switch as well. So, in today's video, I'm going to give you five reasons why you may want to consider using the cloud version of Lightroom over Lightroom Classic, and I'm going to give you five reasons why you may not want to use Lightroom over Lightroom Classic. Now, of course, there's dozens of reasons why and why not you may want to use Lightroom over Lightroom Classic. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to cover five each, and let's start out with the positive and talk about five reasons why you may want to use the so-called cloud version of Lightroom. Number one, compared to Lightroom Classic, it's lightweight. If you look at it, on the left-hand side, you have your digital asset manager kind of panel. So over here is like the library module in Lightroom Classic. And over on the right-hand side, you have all your editing tools over here. Now with Lightroom Classic, of course, you have a library module. This is your digital asset manager. And then you have a develop module, and this is where you do your editing. You also have a map module, a book module, a slideshow module, a print module, a web module. So there's a lot here. And often, because it uses this so-called like catalog system, uh, it's often chugging away in the background. You know, whatever it's doing, it's writing XMP files, or it's doing something with metadata. And for some computers, that could really bog down the computer. So there's a lot more overhead with Lightroom Classic. So if your computer isn't a newer one, or if you don't have a lot of RAM, or you don't have a large hard drive, you may want to consider using the cloud version of Lightroom, just because it's a little more lightweight compared to Lightroom Classic. The second reason why you may want to use the cloud version of Lightroom, because with it, you're right in the middle of the Lightroom ecosystem. And what I mean by that, it ties in directly with the mobile versions of Lightroom and the web version of Lightroom. So if you do, let's say, an edit here, you can, ten, can, you can continue that edit on your iPhone with the Lightroom app or on your iPad or Android device with the Lightroom app or if you don't have, you're on a computer that doesn't have Lightroom loaded on it, you could go to the web version of Lightroom and edit your image there as well. So you're really kind of plugged into the Lightroom ecosystem with the cloud version of Lightroom. And it's very easy to just jump from, let's say, you know, your computer to your phone, to your tablet, to a browser and do edits. Now with Lightroom Classic, you can sync catalogs to the cloud and those catalogs will show up as albums in the cloud version of Lightroom. And then you'll be able to do everything I mentioned uh, before, but that is a process. It's a little bit more automatic with the cloud version of Lightroom. So if you're one that maybe travels a lot and you don't like bringing a laptop with you, you only like bringing, let's say your iPad, you could get your images on your iPad and you could just do edits with the app, the Lightroom app on your iPad. And then when you do get home, when you fire up your desktop or your laptop at home, all those edits will be there and you could continue the edits or re-edit your edits and, and things like that. Now, another thing uh, concerning this is if you're an iPhone or just, you know, a phone photographer, you could take photos from within Lightroom and those photos you take on your phone will just automatically show up in this Lightroom ecosystem, and you'll be able to edit them on the desktop or on the web version of Lightroom or on your iPad or tablet or whatever. So 
you're directly plugged into the light, Lightroom ecosystem. And uh, for a lot of people, that's something they need. Now, the third thing, the third reason why you may want to switch to the cloud version of Lightroom, and this is something that happened relatively recently, is it has this local tab and you no longer have to automatically sync your images to the cloud and take up all that bandwidth in your cloud. Uh, you're able now to just navigate to a folder on your computer. You could see I have all these folders of images and I could just navigate to an image and do my edits here. Now, if I do want to, let's say, back up this image to the cloud, or if I want to continue editing on a tablet or my iPhone or even on the web, I could easily copy the one image to the cloud so it's in the cloud and then I could edit it on other devices. So it's relatively easy to do that. But a lot of people were holding off using this so-called cloud version of Lightroom because they just had like a hard drive full of images and they didn't want to sync all of those to the cloud because maybe... They just had a lot of images and it would take up too much space and take up too much time to upload them. They'd just rather do the edits locally like they do in Lightroom Classic. And you're able to do that now. Also, like if I have a, like a folder I often go to, I just could favorite that folder and then it will be over here in this sub tab right here. So I have this folder favorited. If I go over here to back to browse and I go to, let's say, a different folder, and I want to favorite this folder, then I could go over to my favorites, and you could see they're all right here, so I could easily access folders I often access to do edits. And it's super easy to do, and like I said, then if you do want to back up just an image here or there, you could easily do it by clicking this button right here. Now, the next reason I want to talk about, uh, I don't see written a lot, and this, in my opinion, is something that is underrated. With Lightroom Classic, uh, you may be familiar that if you import images and or at a later time, you could add keywords to the image. For this image, I, you know, I would add dog or something like that, right? And colors, you know, what colors he is and blue for the couch or whatever. I could add all these keywords. Then I could search for specific images that have dogs in them or I could just use a keyword, this dog, we, his name is Fredo. So I could search for all my Fredo images, right? And it would come up. The cool thing about the cloud version of Lightroom is it has AI keywording built in, meaning you don't have to do any keywording yourself. If I just go up here to this search bar and I type, say, statue, right? And then just look for statues, it will find all the statues in my Lightroom uh, library here. can maybe zoom back out. And you can see that it automatically finds the statues. I didn't enter any keywords here. I didn't take any time to do this. So it automatically has this AI keywording built in. Now with Lightroom Classic, you can purchase a plugin. It's by Xire. It's called the Xire Search Plugin. And with that plugin, it has AI keywording. And you have to set it up after you install uh, Xire Search. It will go through a routine where it will look at all your images and find all the various elements in your image. So it will find the dog, it will find the blue couch, it will find, you know, if you have giraffes, if you have, you know, a landscape and it has mountains and it has a stream, it will find all those different elements in a scene and automatically create a database of keywords for those elements. And through that plugin, you could do AI searching. All that AI searching is built in to um, the so-called, again, cloud version of Lightroom. So that, I think, is something that isn't talked about a lot and something that I like uh, and I wish Lightroom Classic had it built in. Now, I kind of alluded to this uh, already, but you could easily sync images to the cloud with the cloud version of Lightroom. So if you are in your local tab, and I want to sync this to the cloud, all I need to do is click this button right here. And it's going to ask me, do I want to copy this one photo to the cloud? This photo and all its edits will be copied to the cloud. You can find it in the cloud tab under recently added. So I could click OK and it will upload this image to the cloud. 
not only will it be in that cloud tab under recently added, but it will also be available on my iPad, my iPhone, and in the web version of Lightroom as well. So it's real easy to back up image. So if you have like a really great image and you want to make sure that you never lose that image because, you know, a hard drive might crash or somebody might steal your laptop or something like that, you could back it up to the cloud with just that single click. And I think that's a great reason why you may want to consider using the cloud version of Lightroom. With Lightroom Classic, there's no facility built in to automatically back up your images anywhere, much less the cloud. You can back up the catalog. In the catalog, it has all your edits. You can back that up, but those edits aren't any good if you lose the images. So you need uh, to do something outside of Lightroom to back up your images, not only, let's say, to another hard drive, but to the cloud as well. So that's something that Lightroom Classic is lacking that is already in the cloud version of Lightroom. Now, five reasons why you may not want to use the cloud version of Lightroom. Number one, plugin support. The only plugin that you could access vis-a-vis -vis the cloud version of Lightroom is Photoshop. You cannot access at this time at least any other plugin. So if you often use a third-party application to, say, reduce noise, or maybe a third-party application to do your portrait editing, those plugins are not available inside of the cloud version of Lightroom. Now, there is a workaround. You could send it to Photoshop, and as long as those third-party apps have Photoshop plugins, you could then get it into that app vis-a-vis Photoshop, and then go back to Photoshop, then back to Lightroom, and you'll have everything there. But uh, again, if you are if you use a lot of plugins, you may not want to use the cloud version of Lightroom because there's just not a, a, an option for that at all. The other reason, or the second reason why you may not want to use the cloud version of Lightroom is there's no soft proofing. So if you print a lot, you may want to use Lightroom Classic because with Lightroom Classic, you could soft proof an image. And with soft proofing, you could get an idea of what the image would look like when it's printed on specific paper. You hit the S key, that's the keyboard shortcut for soft proofing, and you could see that it changed the look of the image. If I hit the S key again, you could see there's the uh, regular view of the image. And then once I go into soft proofing mode, it says proof preview. And you can see that it's a profile for a specific type of paper I use and whether I want to use a perceptual or relative intent. And you can get an idea of what it will look like printed. Um, again, if you don't print a lot, then it doesn't matter to you at all, right? So um, that, though, is might be something that would be a deal breaker for some people, people who print a lot. Also, there's no tethering support. This is the third reason, by the way. The third reason why you may not want to use the cloud version of Lightroom, there's no tethering support. Uh, those of you not familiar with tethering is with Lightroom Classic. You could take a cable directly from your camera, plug it into your computer, and when you have Lightroom open in tethering mode, uh, when you take a photo, it will automatically load into Lightroom. And you could have it automatically load with a preset. Now, a lot of studio photographers want to tether because they want to see the image in real time almost. So what I mean by that is they have the model, she's in front of, let's say, or he is in front of seamless paper background. You take a photo of the person, and it will get into Lightroom within a few seconds. You could uh, have it just do like a rudimentary preset to it, get an idea what it looks like. You can make sure your lighting looks right by looking at it on your big computer screen or a monitor, a uh, bigger monitor. And... um then you could just, you know, like change the lights or fix whatever needs to be fixed, take another photo and so on. So there's a lot of professionals that insist on tethering. Tethering isn't available with the cloud version of Lightroom. Now, what I talked about was a positive can be a negative. That is, it is lighter weight, but it's missing a lot of stuff. Uh, most notably, it's missing all, all these modules, right? So if you use the map module, the book module, the slideshow module, the print module, 
nobody uses the web module, let's face it. But uh, if you use any of the other modules, uh, you won't have that um, functionality in the cloud version of Lightroom. Now, personally, um, the print module is something that is very powerful in the cloud version of, or in, I'm sorry, in Lightroom Classic. And with this, I'm able to let Lightroom control the printing vis-a-vis -vis an ICC profile that I download from the paper manufacturer so I could get the image to print exactly like I want it on the paper I'm using and the printer I'm using. Uh, that isn't at all available. As a matter of fact, printing isn't even available in the cloud version of Lightroom. So if I want to print this, I can't hit like Command P on my Mac and print it. What I have to do is export it as a JPEG and then with another app, print it. Now, I could, of course, export as a TIFF as well or another file type, depending on what app you use to print it. But then you could print it that way, but you don't have all these options where you could have Lightroom control uh, the printing process with uh, ICC profile. So again, this isn't for everyone. Not everyone gets that deep into printing and has to worry about this. I do know that there are uh, several people that create slideshows because they email me quite often with issues they have with the slideshow module. And there's probably an equal number of people that do create books. Uh, so again, uh, if that is something you often do, you won't be able to switch from the Cla uh, Lightroom Classic to Lightroom. So that is number four, no modules. And number five, uh, this might not affect you, um, but something worth mentioning there's no history panel uh, in the cloud version of Lightroom. Of course, uh, if I'm in Lightroom Classic, I could be, let's say, in, let's go to an edited image. That one I was on was edited. We'll go to the develop module and I could open up history. And let's see, I should pick one that's really edited. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, here you could see. I see that I did edits to this image right here. And you can see all the edits are here. So I could go backwards through my editing and see what I did or undo things. So to some people, that's important. At times, it's important to me. Uh, but there is no history panel or history option in the cloud version of Lightroom. Now, you could undo things. Hit Command or Control Z as in Zebra. And you could undo things. Uh, so you could go and undo things step by step. Just keep hitting Command or Control Z to undo them, and then Shift Command Z or Shift Control Z to redo it. So you can do that, but uh, that history panel just isn't there. Now I'm just going to throw in a sixth thing because this actually affects me because I use color labels. Color labels aren't available, although star ratings and pick and reject flags are available. So pick and reject flags and star labels are available in the cloud version of Lightroom. But color labels are not for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Hopefully they do add that uh, to the cloud version of Lightroom. Uh, but that's it. Those are reasons why you may want to use the cloud version of Lightroom and reasons why you may not want to use the cloud version of Lightroom. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's any other reasons why you use the cloud version of Lightroom over Lightroom Classic or if there's any reasons why you won't use the cloud version of Lightroom over Lightroom Classic. Because as I mentioned, there are dozens of reasons why you may or may not want to use the Cloud Version of Lightroom over Lightroom Classic. I'm just talking about technically 11, I mentioned, but, you know, you get the drift. That's it. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.